traders and welcome to a new day trading strategy video of mine on market manipulation of spoofing. Now if you haven't heard of spoofing before, that's a-okay. I'm going to be giving you guys a definition and we're going to look into just about how it works. Uh, additionally, this video is going to be, has two purposes. One, to protect you from spoofing from other traders who are trying to spoof you. And two, how to take advantage of other traders spoofing the market. So I first do want to say that spoofing is illegal in the United States and in the UK. Uh, however, cryptocurrencies are unregulated, so with no body to regulate cryptocurrency trading on exchanges, uh, spoofing is rampant. And I think that prior to this video, I really underestimated just how much spoofing occurs on altcoins. Uh, and today we're going to look into just why most altcoins move the way they do and how we can actually find a way to profit off of spoofing, off of other traders spoofing, not us spoofing. So before we go into the dark arts of spoofing and, and all that fun and jazz, I have released my price action volume guide that shows how you can trade like a market maker and think more like an institution. So what this guide includes is over 100 practice, practice examples, step-by-step -step strategies, uh, ways to trade on volume spikes, on stop loss hunts, on different kinds of market shapes. And if you're interested, you can check out the link in the description below. All right, let's go to what is the definition of spoofing? And I'm gonna give you guys a text definition and also a visual step-by-step. Uh, -step. And then we're gonna go through how spoofing works. And then we're gonna go into how we can detect it and profit off of it. First of all, spoofing is a practice in which traders give an artificial impression of the supply and demand by entering and canceling large buy or sell limit orders in an attempt to manipulate prices. So here's an example that I pulled from Bloomberg, link in the description below for that article. And on this Bloomberg article, one example that we have here is when a spoofer entered a series of very large market of uh, limit sell orders, offers. Now, these offers were not meant to actually sell. The only reason they placed these offers is to clamp price down, to push price lower. So once price was pushed lower, not only did price fall a bit, as many as it, was, it looked like there's a high amount of supply, other traders were putting limit sell orders just below that large limit sell order as just commonplace, as a commonplace strategy. Additionally, other traders were market selling, so this combination pushed price lower. Then the spoofer cancels their order, their large series of limit sell orders like that. And the minute that they cancel their order, they market buy all of the liquidity that was generated from that spoof. So when they put that limit sell and then other people try to front run them and then the price goes down, goes down, they snap up that liquidity and price is gone. So that this is allowing them to buy at a very good rate. Now here's a step-by-step -step of just how this works a little bit more concretely. And imagine you're looking at an altcoin and you're looking at spoofing on the bid. Now you can read over point one and two. I'm gonna talk about point three, so you may want to pause the video. Uh, before we go to that. All right, point number three. W what I'm talking about here is when a large bid order is placed, typically what you're going to see is would-be sellers may cancel their other limit sell orders. So we have limit sell orders and we have limit buy orders near, near price. The limit sellers may not want to limit sell. Why would you want to take profit there or take a loss there when there's so much demand, when you can, when they believe you can just take profit much, much higher? Conversely, imagine that you have a very large limit sell order and you have some bids. Those bids might be scared because uh, they might not want to buy because there's so much supply. So when price is going down, they cancel their bids. And back to this example here, after you see that large bid placed, you're also probably going to see market buying of any liquidity of those offers as price begins to rise. This is going to continue happening. Price is going to move upward in the short term as it's a spoof. And then out of nowhere, bid order is pulled. And at the same time, the spoofer is able to market sell at great prices uh, due to getting other traders to buy at higher prices and to place their bids at elevated prices. The spoofer gets the advantage of selling at a rate that they would normally not have gotten. And at the same time, when they're doing these spoofing plays, they're not only going to use market sell orders, they may also place limit sell orders, limit sell orders, so that as they place their spoof, their fake bid to 
press price higher, some of their limit sellers are filled, and then at the end they may market sell uh, and begin the, uh, the uh, downtrend. Why would someone want to do this? Well, this is illegal, but the reason why some people like to do this, some HFTs and traders like to do it, is a spoofer can bluff the market and then profit on short-term speculation. Because if you have enough capital to bully around a market, you can just, using limit buy orders, using limit sell orders, and using um, a few market orders, you can just push the price in certain directions and profit off of this speculation. Two, uh, manufactured liquidity. So if a trader is looking to not just profit off the short term, you know, uh, bounces back and forth in the order book, but is looking to accumulate, is looking to buy an altcoin, how do they buy it? Well, what they might do is place very large limit sell orders of their already uh, of the liquidity they are liquidity they already have, and then they're going to push price lower, and then they're going to be buying at uh, really good levels. And then the third reason I'm going to talk about in a future video, which is what do what does the order book look like before stop loss hunt occurs, and that will be coming in the future. Okay, one last thing that we want to that I want to go over before we talk about uh, and we look at actual spoofing examples. You need to look at three things to actually determine if a spoof is even occurring. So the what we're going to be looking at is this. This is the 1% order depth. Now you may say, why are you looking at the 1% order depth? Well, I'm looking at the 1% order depth here on these altcoins because I want to see historically what bids and offers and what volume of bid and offers have been near the last traded price. And how can we take advantage of this occurring, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that very soon. But this is what we're going to be looking at. Now, when we look at this, how do we determine if something like this, you know, is a spoof? You know, it, we went from a bit of four Bitcoin up to a bit of 45 Bitcoin, <laughs> back down to a bid of five Bitcoin. So basically, it just returned back to the normal. You know, what, what's going on here, and how do we know what's going on? First thing you need to check is was the order filled. So when that order was canceled, when that drop occurred on that bid that I just showed you, was there a volume spike? Because in order for there to be a drop from 45 Bitcoin to 5 Bitcoin, we would have need to see we would need to see a large amount of volume. So the first thing that we want to do is then look at volume. And volume, we can see that's this uh, that's this brown line right here. In this example here, I'm not really seeing much of an increase in volume. I mean, volume increases a little bit, right? This is 24-hour volume, by the way. Uh, volume increases a little bit, but not by, not at all by some crazy amount. Uh, it looks pretty uh, static, if anything. So that's the first thing that you're going to want to look at to see if the order, if the order was filled. Because if the order was filled, odds are it probably was not a spoofing play, but actual accumulation or distribution. Two, you know, beyond the one percent range, or was the order canceled? because that distinction is incredibly important to make. Three, let's say that both of these uh, check out. Uh, volume didn't spike. Uh, it's And the order fell in both the 1% range and the 5% range, then the order was canceled. Uh, and if volume has not grown, the order was in range the whole time, then the order may have been a potential spoof play. Now, you may wonder, what do we do when we see spoofing? How can we take advantage of this? Well, first, let's look for detection of spoofing, and then after this, I'm going to show you guys what we can do to take advantage of it. First thing you see here, this one is not going to be easy uh, to, to do, just off the bat. This is a collection of bid and uh, offers. You know, green is bid, red is offers. That gray slash blue line or whatever color that is, that is price. Do you see anything here that looks a little bit fishy? And I will illustrate it here. Take a look here. Um, I want you to focus on the offer movement from here to here. We saw the, that the amount, uh, that the 1% order depth went from about 100, uh, 190, 100, 185, 190 Bitcoin uh, trying to be sold within 1% of BNB. That went up to 430 Bitcoin. This is a massive increase in a very short period of time. Now, what did price do during this? Price was falling. So we saw a large amount of offers that, um, that had gotten placed. Now, then what we see is, yeah, price fell naturally because there's so many, so many limit cells and they, and they stayed. What just happened here? Do you see it? All those orders look to have just been pulled. 
we see that the offers actually go down to about 140 Bitcoin. Uh, they started at about 190 Bitcoin. We see a massive reduction in the offers. And what happens after that? Price goes flat for a little bit. Price goes flat. We see another spoofing play here. Offers rise, right? Offers rise. Price goes down a little bit. Then the offer falls. It goes away. And then price rises. And if we actually look at what happened to BNB today, because what I was just showing you is BNB, BTC. BNB, BTC has been an uptrend, you know, today. Why has it been an uptrend? Well, this may have been a potential factor. There was a spoofer here. Uh, th this is absolutely spoofing. And if you may say, wait a second, Bennett, okay. Let's check the 2.5% range to see, was this offer really canceled? Or did this, did this just fall out of range? Yeah, the order was canceled. You can see that we have an increase in the offers, very clearly. Very clearly, we have an increase in offers as prices going down. That could just be genuine supply. You know, that's just a part of market's movements. But then look at that. At this point in time, we see a massive reduction in that offer. Here, even better, we see a massive reduction in that offer. What happens right after this, after all these offers are pulled? Prices goes back, prices goes up. The spoofing play was over. The spoofing play was designed for a trader or a series of traders to buy at these lower levels of BNB and then pump up the coin for BNB to go higher. I'm not saying for sure that this happened, but looking at the evidence here, it looks pretty likely that this was a coordinated effort to dump BNB a little bit and then to be able to buy it at lower rates and then to potentially um, ride the uptrend. Okay, you're going to be looking at BCD right here. Now, do you notice anything fishy? I, I, I'm seeing a lot of things fishy with this order depth right here, but do you see anything here that looks potentially like a spoof? All right, I'm gonna reveal it. Look here. Yeah, there, there are some spoofing plays here, but I wanna focus on this one, okay? Now you can see here, price was flat. Price was not moving in this period of time at all, right? What, was, what were the bids doing during that period of time? Increasing. They were increasing for about six Bitcoin and they doubled to about 12 Bitcoin. I know that's not a lot, but on these markets and on the 1%, an increase of 100% from six Bitcoin to 12 Bitcoin uh, near the top of the order book is gonna have a pretty strong impact on, on price. What did price do? After these, these bids were placed, price rose. Uh, you can see BCD rose up here. Then what happened? Well, look at that. The bid was pulled. And we can see that, yeah, not, not the entire bid was pulled, but we can see a large portion of that bid just dropped off completely. So after we see that massive drop off of the bid, the spoofing play was complete. They had put their limit buy orders here to pump, to make price go a little bit higher, entice people to buy, and then they pull the order, and then like that, price dumps. And then if they want, they can spoof this again, and they can buy at lower levels again, and then just do it again and just keep profiting off of real t retail traders being enticed to market buy up here and then markets sell down here when their stop losses get hit or when they panic. Now you may say, okay, let's look at the 5%, right? Let's look at the 5% for BCD. Uh, what do we see? Look at this. Bid placed. Consolidation. Price rises. Bid canceled. It's not falling out of range here. We're, we're within the 5% order depth here. Uh, and you can see that, yeah, this was a spoof. Uh, this was, well, not, not exactly for sure a spoof, but this is showing every single textbook sign of spoofing on BCD, as you can see here. Now, the question comes, what do we do with this information? Well, when you see this kind of play happening in these three stages that were mentioned by, um, mentioned by Bloomberg, uh, you can see, you know, here we get a result of that spoofing. I mean, after you see this bid pulled, that is a very bad sign for the market. That could be a trader selling at an elevated level. Now, you may say, whoa, 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 but what about here? A spoofing play was made, right? You can see a large bid was placed. It held for a bit, and then it was canceled, but price went higher. That's why we always want to see the result that price has. We want to see price rising. Uh, and then when we see that bid uh, uh, pulled after price rises, then we can expect that that may have been a spoof. But not every spoofing play is going to succeed that these traders make. Some of them are beautiful. I mean, not beautiful because what they're doing is kind of illegal. Uh, but look at here. Bid placed, bid placed, 
bids are going from 28 Bitcoin up to what, 36 Bitcoin. Uh, that's an increase of eight Bitcoin. And as you can see, what happens right after that? Uh, price is chilling here, then rises like crazy up here on a spike. What happens on that spike? Well, the bids fall off uh, because the spoofing play was complete. They had done what they wanted to do, which was to pump the price higher. Then they began to sell at elevated levels, and then they pushed the market right back down. All right, so now the final example that I want you guys to look at, which is IOTA. We've looked at BNB, we've looked at BCD. Now let's take a look at, I at IOTA, which has a massive amount of order depth. So uh, honestly, of, of all coins that I did research on, IOTA's order depth looks heavily spoofed. <laughs> I mean, just looking at this chart right here, there's so many examples of just very, very, very obvious spoofing. So if you can spot two examples at least, then uh, let's see if you can, because I'm right now staring at three examples that I can see. All right, so the answer is, what was going on here? Here, here, and then all, some other ones that were current here. Let's focus on here. A large offer was placed, and we saw that offer volume went from about 113 uh, Bitcoin to about 150, 149. So pretty sizable increase in the order depth. Price shot down. People were market selling. People were placing limit sells and just trying to sell, 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 sell. Offer canceled. It was a spoof. So what happened here, and you can see a bit of that happen here as well with the, with these shapes. Uh, and, and even if you look at where it reverted back to, the, the offer was placed and then it was canceled and it's almost the exact same as it was before. And that's not a mistake. That's because there is a spoofer, or likely is a spoofer, who placed a limit sell. Uh, that limit sell does not transact because it's a spoof. They don't want it to transact. They don't want to sell down here, no. And then they cancel that order. And then uh, you see the offers go back to the mean. Now, when this happens, right when they cancel the order, it was right about here. Cancel the order, they immediately mark a buy and price shoots up. Uh, so you could have potentially taken advantage of this. This is aggressive, but you could wait for the offer to be placed. And if you think this is spoofing, then you could do what 99.9% .9 of traders will never do and are not going to be able to, 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 to see, really. And when you see this offer canceled and then price beginning to go up a little bit, I mean, that's giving you a pretty good risk reward uh, because you're taking advantage of other traders spoofing. Example number two, we see a bid placed here, right? Price is flat. Price rises a little bit. It goes from about, you know, down here up to here. What happens the minute the price reaches the peak? Oh, bid canceled. <laughs> bid canceled, price dumps. Why did this occur? Well, hey, price dumped here, right? Potentially a spoofer had bought, you know, at these lower levels and wanted, it was trying to spoof the market a little bit higher. So what do they do? They place limit sells here, 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 massive limit buy here, boom. And price goes up a bit. And you can even see that, yeah, a large limit sell was, was placed here as well. But it was likely that this bid was closer, the bid volume here was closer to last traded price than this one was. So the spoofer may place both kinds, uh, the bid to prop the market higher and higher, and then the offer for that to be filled. And after that gets filled, they may market sell as well, and that begins the downtrend. Now, I said that I could see at least three plays here, uh, three spoof plays that had occurred. Uh, other ones we can see are with the offers here that are very clean, very, very clean. Uh, we see heavy offer placement here. As price is falling, the offers are just rising, meaning a spoofer or a series of spoofers are trying to spoof the order book here. Canceled. And after these cancellations, price rises. Now, this is just a check, again, to see if the, the order fell out of range or if uh, instead the uh, order was actually pulled, was actually canceled. Both of these orders were spoofs, or likely spoofs, because you can see the shape on the 1% looks almost the exact same on the 2.5, and the 1% here, you can also see a drop in the bids there, showing us that, yeah, the, the order was pulled. This, these kinds of things are, are going to happen in really all markets. Um, but because cryptocurrency trading is so unregulated, this happens all the time on all coins. And I have to be honest and say that I honestly, I, I, I underestimated just how much this occurs. I didn't look at the data. I, I thought that a lot of the times you could use the 1% or the 2.5% on altcoins, not on Bitcoin, on altcoins, and then profit off of that. But there are so many ways that these, these altcoin markets spoof other traders that you can take advantage of. Um, because when you, when you spot a spoofing play, 
you're spotting the intention of a large trader to buy or sell, and you can be able to buy or sell with them or even before them. And that can be pretty powerful. So here are three stages that you can use. Uh, and we typically want to buy in between stage two and three. Uh, so we want to buy, you know, the best time to buy would be before we get the sweep. And the sweep is when the order is canceled, and then you see the price just jack up the other way. You know, large limit sell, price goes lower, 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 order pulled. Whoosh. Or uh, bid place, price goes higher, 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 higher. And then the institution or the HFT is able to sell at an elevated rate, and then the sweep occurs and price goes down. But whenever you're looking at spoofing, Check the 2.5%, check the 5%, check volume, look for changes in volume, look for changes in the depth, um, in the depth range, because we, we need to know if it's spoofing or not, uh, or you don't want to trade on it. And this is what is going to be coming soon, so I'm giving you a little bit of a teaser for this, um, and that will be probably the video after my Monday video, so next Friday. Last note that I do want to make is Yes, you can still use order depth. Yes, you can still use the BAS on, on BitMEX. You can, you can look at order depth completely fine. The, the, what I'm showing here, guys, is on these very short-term order depth charts of the 1% of these smaller altcoins and these medium altcoins and, and even BNB, you know, who would have known? Uh, spoofing is, is going to occur. Um, however, I would still recommend that, you, you, that traders use the 5% order depth um, that I typically recommend. It still works. It's just you do have to be mindful of these spoofing plays. And if you are able to spot them, then you can find some very good trading opportunities. With that, I hope this was helpful. And if you want to learn more, you can contact me. You can get the guide in the description below. Or you can go practice this uh, on your own. With that, happy trading.